Welcome back to the Super Data Science series on pattern recognition. We are working on setting up our k-means cluster, which leaving off or continuing from the last video, we passed in our bench k-means, we were initializing our principal component analysis, and we also passed in our metrics so we can get some scores, which you can see once we finally ran it. And now we are going to be focused on visualizing our data, visualizing the, I guess you could say, reduced or reshaped data that we are receiving from the principal component analysis. And the great thing about sklearn is uh, PCA is uh, has a built-in method, has a built-in uh, function that you can use with sklearn, which makes it very simple to run uh, principal component analysis on your data sets and on your projects. So that's being said, let's jump in and see if we can get some information started to be plotted so we can do some visualization. And we're going to be using um, PyPlot, you know, matplotlib, and you will see um, as we continue through this, we'll uh, we'll generate some in, uh, some images that we can visualize. So we want to take from the previous video. We want to take our we want to set up our reduced data. We're going to pass in PCA. And we want to take the number of components for our PCA, which is going to be two. <clears throat> we also want to fit our data. Have from above. We're going to initialize our k-means. Remember the uh, capitals on both k and m. We want to init equals k means number of clusters is the number of digits. And init is going to be set to 10. I'm gonna try and just move a little quicker through it so we can actually start running some visualizations. Our k-means fit. We have our, we're gonna pass in, you know, um, we're gonna pass in here our reduced data from which we have um, set above, which we're running a principal component analysis on. We're actually gonna set a mesh point here, which you can play around with to um, decrease or increase um, your specific results. We're gonna set it to 0 0.2 right now. And for the following, since we can start plotting our boundaries, we're also, we need to assign a color to each. For this, I'm gonna show you the following code that we can actually use um, to establish our boundaries, our decision boundary. And as you can see here from the following, we are using our reduced data to plot our decision boundaries, assigning a color to each. We are using NumPy to establish uh, our values or to fit our values. And as you can see here, we are using um, the xmin and xmax. We are establishing our um, decision boundaries from PCA. We want to assign a color to each. We also want to um, set some labels that we have to assign to each point in the mesh. And we're going to use you know, our previously trained model, which we're going to set here with our k-means and our prediction, again, using NumPy. And for the following, we want to do a, uh, we want to do a quick plot here. So we can take our Z, capital Z, and we want to reshape it to shape. I want to do a quick, um, a quick plot of figure one. Before running it, let's just go through. Um, since I did test it, I lost over the um, setting of the equals for our PCA, which is pretty important. We want to make sure that's in there. And once that's in, let's just double check everything if it's set up correctly. Now, once we have that all set, we're going to run it. We're going to pass one to plot our figure. And we see that we have matplotlib, our figure is saved there. Okay, so overall, what did we do here? We worked with our principal component analysis. You know, we did move pretty quickly, but again, we're setting our k-means, number of clusters, we need to initialize it. We have to establish um, our boundaries, we have to establish our labels, so when we actually visualize this and plot this, we um, can see, uh, especially using color plots, we can see the differences between the visualizations, the k-means, the um, centroids, and we'll uh, end up actually being able to see x's on the centroid data. You'll see the little, um, you'll see the, da the data values of the handwritten digits plotted within their clusters with a color background, so it makes it pretty simple to visualize. Let's move on to the next episode here where we're going to finally wrap it up, at least with plotting, and we're going to show it where we can visualize everything that we've done so far. All right, so 
All right, I'll see you guys in the next video. As always, subscribe to the Super Data Science channel to stay up to date with new and recent information within the industry. Please ask any questions, share, and comment on the video. And I'll see you guys in the next part of our series.